two notes for home. Come on in. So this is our humble abode. First, a little bit about the vehicle. It was an old U-Haul, a grocery truck. Then the guy we bought it from got it and he did the bed area and the cabinets and he got the butcher block as well. We redid the shelves. They're a little unstable uh, just because our shoddy craftsmanship. So we might have to redo those later, but they're doing well now. We had tons of food and stuff on it when we first moved in here. So now that we've kind of lived in it for a while, today we spent the whole entire afternoon redoing everything. So you're kind of seeing a new and improved layout of where things go for us. Um, over here we got our books and movies and such that we haven't watched yet, but we have some books here. I got my knitting, coffee, some charger stuff, and then pretty much all of our shelf space has just been for food. I think I put a blanket up here in the beginning. So we don't really feel like leaving it there. And uh, we have like vitamins here. I have a couple can candles that I didn't want to throw out, so I still have them. Uh, we have tuna and ramen is a special basket and well because the tuna you can only find these in certain Walmart so we kind of grab them when we see them but then you have towels and there's all this space of junk that I've reorganized uh, this afternoon and gotten to actually put away we have some storage down here uh, stuffed yes stuffed but we have chips and coffee creamer just random assortments of what we want to have on hand for food. There's some cleaning supplies. Our bear canister and crock pot are down there. Crock pot has been pretty handy, but we only use it since we're on solar. We only use it when we're driving, so the battery can recharge um, through the alternator. And that's been really nice, but it just gets really hot in here too. Uh, on the right side here, you're right, we have uh, storage for us and you're hitting the lights. <laughs> That's what you're hitting. And uh, we have some storage for us, so we decided to go with just some shelving and did this little lip here. As far as like this side goes, everything has worked great for us. Uh, these baskets up here, the boxes, they're just like the standard 11 by 11, you know, kids toy boxes, but these are all of our clothes. And yes, we could stand to lose a few clothes. Um, but they don't, they, they top out, so even if we did go over a bumpy road, it's just enough to where it, it hit the ceiling and kind of bounced back down. Um, I think we had one bounce out one time, and uh, that's because it just went straight up and out. <laughs> uh, we have our Brita filter here, which has been extremely helpful. It's like the 18 cup Brita filter. We have to replace the filter in August, so it says. We have our... All of our sleeping stuff here so it's been kind of fun you could say to figure out where you want everything to be we had the bedding uh, behind the bars when we first started all this and I thought it was genius kind of oh tucked out of the way well I rearranged some stuff because getting through those bars is a pain and you do that every single day whereas like stuff that we had here we did not use every single day so that stuff went down there which is like random stuff like bags and extension cords, some boots that I had for winter, um, what else? Just laundry detergent, stuff like that. So we kind of make things that we use every day more accessible for us and that's been really helpful. Uh, we put some hooks here for like towels and stuff. Um, yeah, these, these were originally hat hooks. And they've turned into pan hooks now because if I put the pans in places, they get dirty. 
Um, our curtains are insulated. I made them myself, as you can tell. They, uh, they just have Velcro on the side, so they can Velcro all the way down and around. Um, let me drop that. So they're kind of nice. They need to be doctored a bit, re-sewn together, because I threw them together in less than two hours because we built this van in less than a week. So I'll probably redo these around Christmas time, but they've worked for now. They do pretty well. All the pictures are hung and then velcroed to the wall, so we don't have any issues with them flying off. You can kind of see some velcro here. I had to move that. But most of the time, it's it's fairly easy for us to get up and move as well. Whenever we leave the camp spot, um, taking stuff off the counter, setting it on the floor. Our camera bags go here, and that's perfect for us. Again, like I said, we use those almost every other day, so we put those more accessible. I had them down there through the first trip and did not go well. You're just constantly taking stuff out. We do have our table over here in this pocket, which is wonderful, but we do not have the uh, legs worked out, the leg situation. So we gotta, gotta fix that. But then we have like these little shelves right here as well to kind of kind of um, store stuff on, pictures and games, and of course, everybody knows my mom's an oil lady, so you gotta have room for the oils. And uh, we have lights that won't turn on because it has to be completely dark on the other side, but they are solar powered, so I think they give us about like 30 minutes, 45 minutes of twinkle lights in the evening, but they just charge all day, so it's been pretty nice. Um, back here we have our laundry and then in each of these bins we did um, like seasonal gear, camping gear, athletic gear which is like our climbing stuff and then we have uh, work gear as well because Micah does some painting along the way. Um, that's been wonderful. So and uh, that rack. Francis made it into the van. And then over here we have our bathroom area. So it's kind of like bathroom dash storage and stuff, but we have our mirror and then on this side we hang some of our shoes, like our nicer shoes. We don't want to get dirty. Uh, we have our uh, camera tripod there and all this is like toiletries and, and then we have our um, composting toilet and that's been fantastic to not have to get up or worry um, as long as you take care of it so this is kind of nice we can now take out this rod um, and we can still have privacy when we use the restroom so I don't have to watch him go and he doesn't have to watch me go so that's been super nice and I just fixed this back up so that one just clips down in there and now it'll hang permanently Whereas before I had to like put it up and put it down. Uh, we have silverware in here. We got our silverware from Walmart and uh, it came with a little tray and I just cut it down. And then we have uh, some of our pans and Pyrex. Girl can't live without Pyrex, right? So we did our Pyrex and cutting board. That's really nice because you can just pull that out, cut some stuff, and then just wipe it off instead of doing it on the butcher block if you're dealing with elk meat, like we've been blessed to. So then down here we have our spice rack, sort of. Uh, it kind of rusted out from the previous owner, and uh, so that's not terribly fun, but just put a bunch of random stuff in there, closer stuff that we use more often in the front, not so much in the back and measuring cups and all that random stuff so under and then we have our fridge and that's been amazing as much as this little dorm room fridge stinks it has been pretty nice it has a little freezer and you can recently we put pork loin in there and we're actually gonna do that Saturday tomorrow sometime so then we have our sink and the guy before us 
did did most of the wiring and electrical work and, and pumps and everything like that. So we actually do have an outdoor shower, which would be amazing and really nice, but the pump does not work efficiently. I think it's too small of a pump. I don't know. It uh it leaks everywhere. Every time we fill the tank, even when it's not running, it's just the pressure just bursts the, the connections. So we haven't really used the water a whole bunch. We thought we had fixed it and still not working great. Um, kind of put some water in there sometimes just so we can brush our teeth at night. But as far as dishes go, it's not accessible. But that's okay. We'll fix it eventually. Um, and the outdoor shower obviously barely even makes it there. So then we have solar, uh, which is what our lights run off and everything electrical in here runs off of. And that's been wonderful. We can go off grid. We have not had to plug in in a campground once yet. So crossies. We've had pretty good weather and lots of sun. Of course, we're in sunny places. So that's been really nice. They have the battery recharges while we're driving. Um, all of it works pretty well for us. Um, and especially redoing today it's just we have we have so much more space and nothing to put in it but that's a good good problem to have so so we have the outside of our van here. We got some outlets. We have our backup cam that is working now. And it's really nice. It's in black and white though, so it's not super high tech. We have lights up top here that flip on from the inside. Our composting toilet has a little vent here that's connected to the number two part. So it just vents out the back so there's no smell inside virtually, just depending on what it is. We have on this side we have our RV hookup. We have not had to use that yet. Uh, you can see the grass up there is turf, fake grass. The guy before us had put climbing holds so you could go up there and have coffee in the morning and whatnot. We've used it once or twice. Everybody comments on it. They think it's great. We haven't used it, so we might take it down depending on if we get a ladder on the back, maybe we'd use it more, but it's it's kind of a hassle for us to get up there. You can see the, the wonderful lettering on the side. We repainted it when we got it. It had mountains on the side of it, just stenciled. Might go back to that. Might have somebody paint some cool color mountains on it. We haven't necessarily decided yet, but for right now, it's just a good old tank. We have our solar panels on the front. And yeah, those are great. They're wonderful. And passenger door, our headlights. This headlight's out and that one's pointed at the ground, like at the ground, not in front of us. But we get splattered with bugs. So, hard to keep it clean. On this side, we have our tighter stripe. And we have our exterior shower, our outdoor shower, which is nice as well, and gas cap and all that stuff. The story that I didn't think would happen. This gas cap has been left at three gas stations, and we've been lucky enough to be driving back through and each time the person's been like, yeah, we have it. We just kept it behind our counter. Well, thanks for watching. Like us on uh, YouTube and look us up on Instagram, notes.4.home.